Hello and welcome to Battle of Girls, It's the Knits, episode 159. My name is Meg and I will be your host. You're joining me here on the 16th of August and I am having some coffee this morning. I have Bones Coffee Company and it is the Highland Grog, which is like a caramel vanilla or but car caramel butterscotch. It's very good either way. And since I've been doing all of my bellish vlogs recently, I'm also drinking out of my TARDIS mug, which you probably haven't seen in years. I haven't seen in years. So odds are you haven't seen it in years. Anyway, I have lots to share with you, a few finished objects. Um, and I am podcasting much quicker than I normally uh, do because I am on a tiny break in between my classes and I've amassed a few things that I wanna share with you. Um, we do have a knit along going on right now. It is the Bad Wolf Girl Christmas in July 5. There will be uh, a few physical prizes and several patterns that I will be giving away. Um, at the end of this, it will uh, end on September 1st. So um, if you wanna go ahead and use that hashtag on Instagram, make sure that I have either liked it, shared it, something like that, then you know that I've seen it and that I can see it. And since you're showing up in the search, you will be eligible for prizes. Um, yeah, so make sure you get them in. You can uh, take photos of your works in progress. They don't have to be finished. So if you're waiting because you, you're like, oh, I don't have a finished photo, take a picture of it. <laughs> take a picture of what you're doing. Say that you're participating in the Cal, and that's really what I'm looking for, that's all. So uh, yeah, I hope that that will be super fun for you. And um, please do check in. I, do, I love to see the projects that are going on. Um, the idea is it doesn't have to be Christmas, it's just something to take something else off your plate later in the year, around the holidays, things tend to get crazy. And so it is just meant to give yourself a little bit of breathing room at that time. <sighs> Other than that, I think that's all of the admin. I do have a Knit Crate subscription to share with you this episode, so I will do that at the end. Um, and it's a super bright one, so stay tuned. Very exciting. Um, I have some finished objects. I have some gifts that I did not knit, but a friend did, and I can't wait to tell you about them. <laughs> or what I know about them. And uh, some, some wipes. All right, so let's dive right in. With this episode, I have been um, kind of baby sock town again. And the idea is my uh, niece Sis' birthday is coming up and then the next one's kind of right after that. So um, I went ahead and brought ooh, four, four by four, maybe 16 skeins to um, her. <laughs> and if you are following my um, personal account you will have seen her just kind of like tossing them out of the bin like but a few of them on the first time that she went through the bin she picked it up and would go ooh which is totally a knitting reaction thank you very much but <laughs> there are several like um I think it's rose garden or, or it, it was all red with like pinks in it she really liked that she was interested in sally from knit picks felici i'm, I'm listing nick nitpicks bleachy um she really liked cupcake karaoke uh she seemed intrigued by chelsea which is all kind of pale colors um i left them all in like a row at the top so i can remember there are about five that she showed genuine interest in when she pulled it out of the box so um i have my marching order so to speak i also started with I think it was Sweet Shop or Ice Cream Truck or something like that. It's um, from 2016 or so. And um, I knit her mom a pair of socks in this yarn. So I had been saving the leftover probably 40 grams of each, maybe 35 grams of each. And I, um, I just went ahead and knit her some tube socks. So this is the striping pattern. And this is what it is. I kind of bunched it down on the blocker just so that it would sit kind of normally at the top, but it is a little bit taller, obviously a couple stripes taller. That pink one in there. Whoop. 
That doesn't look too bad, doesn't it? Okay. So it's really taller. Oh, it's so cute. Um, and I didn't put in a heel because I don't really know where her heel will be when her foot is this wide. When I tried this on, I, did, I was able to like knit, um, I think it was up to the blue stripe on the first sock when I tried it on her foot. And um, the, the foot itself fit okay. Then around her ankle, it was like baggy, super baggy. And then it was gonna go up the leg. So, um, like right back here, right? Right back here was super baggy. So I think her foot just needs to be bigger. So that is the first pair. And I have these on my little homemade blockers. I love. Um, and the second pair is a hoe, because I'm not done the second one yet. But um, I went ahead and grabbed Cupcake Karaoke, which was from one or two turns ago in Felici. And I paired it with an unknown. <laughs> nitpicks stroll um it is not mint i don't think it's mint uh it looks too blue to be mint um but i'm not sure it's just like a light blue uh you would probably be able to choose something like it off of the website and the um striping pattern is cupcake karaoke i'm not sure if it's still available um this is one full repeat i was about to start this kind of blue toe again. And I went ahead and just started the cuff. So it kind of mimics. I did not <clears throat> use a secondary color for this other than the cuff. Normally I would do a heel and toe. Um, I was just a little bit too excited. So I went ahead and cast on right away, right in. And I figured one color would equal the toe and then I could go up from there. And as she gets bigger, I'll probably add in heels, toes, and cuffs into different socks for her. But oh my goodness, so cute. So this is for the same little girl. Um, so I have these two going to her. I'm probably gonna finish this pair this week. Um, I'll give them a little, a quick little wash, and then I will um, mail them off in a cupcake bag for her birthday. If you have bought yarn from me before, you might've seen the pink bags with like sprinkles all over them. I call them cupcake bags. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for her birthday, but I'm so excited. So these were my little FO and HO socks. Um, you can see that this one fits on my larger blocker, which is like a 12 to 18 month. And this is supposed to be about a 9 to 12 month. It's um, actually a little bit uh, long in the foot for a 9 to 12 month, as I've learned. Um, but it's okay. Okay, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. So I'm very excited. Yeah, you can see they're like a little bit big. This this one probably just needs the toe trim down. So this is probably taller than I'm even thinking. Oh, so excited. So I have these, which are gonna go out. I love them. I have an extremely large Felici stash I've been collecting since 2016 and I buy Oh, I have bought almost every color when they come in. There's a few that I'm like, oh, I don't like that, so I don't get it. But um, <laughs> I'm usually a huge fan of their colors. I really like how they do them. And uh, they're cheaper for sock yarn, self-striping sock yarn. They're um, technically machine washable. So I really do like to have them. And I feel like that this is what my stash has been waiting for. It's been waiting for family <laughs> that is not knitting related and would not know how to care for a cashmere sock. And so I like to give them things that they can beat up a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's been that. Um, next up, another baby gift. This one's gonna go out. I'm gonna give it a little wet wash and let it go. This is an apple baby hat. So adorable. I love that little leaf. Can you see it? This is the Just a Leaf pattern. Um, it's a little knitted leaf that I found on Ravelry when I was searching for things and it just, I think it just tops off that little apple. So cute. Um, so I made a 55 stitch uh, hat because the baby is going to be born in October and I thought that she would need um, 
like smaller hat, but of course, still, still a good amount of stretch. Um, I didn't make it too deep. Uh, I was hoping that like, I, ho I was hoping that it would fit for that baby stage where like nothing seems to fit. Um, but it's just, it's so darn cute. I really hope that they enjoy it. Um, so I have that one and they are also due a pumpkin hat. So I have to do that as well. I mean, have to, I want to do that as well. I have blocked, washed and blocked, um, the pumpkin patch. So I'm going to get some finished, finished bulgosh. Mm -hmm. We're going with it. I'm not even going to correct myself. And I've noticed that the pumpkins are sitting much flatter. They've relaxed a little bit. They're a little bit smoother, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, the yarn itself is a little bit softer. It was feeling a little squeaky at the end. And uh, I don't know how else to describe that. On my metal needles, it was kind of giving like an sort of feel. Um, and I'm going to let you interpret that as you will. But um, I'm very excited that that is now done. I love my pumpkin patch sweater. I'm very excited to have this in the wardrobe for peanut. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. So that's the, that's the front and that's now done. So now I have to get nice photos of it. I have my backdrop over here and I'll probably use this natural lighting. I'm, I'm up on my second floor this time. I know it's weird. Um, the hubs is working downstairs. So we just kind of swapped levels for now totally fine and um it works works well so uh that is that is finished um they're not finished not finished not finished not finished okay so finished objects that i did not knit these are gifts from um the incredible tristan of dragon horde yarn these are also out of her yarn so if you are falling in love with these i absolutely recommend going over to her website i will try to put on the um, doodly do going across my chest right here. And then I will also link her in the description box down below. Um, I'm, I think this one was like a wolfsbane sort of color, like a wolf something. Oh my goodness. This adorable little hat, these incredible cables. incredible cables oh my goodness I'm just blown away her her love in every stitch is just absolutely amazing this is so beautiful I am so in love and if it if it didn't just stop here it has a matching yarn sweater so it is a hat and sweater set you can bet your bet your bottom dollar we are going out in this oh my goodness the cuteness on this it has great drape this is her dk base i believe um it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous you can see this sort of color pooling isn't that bad like the dye work the stitches absolutely gorgeous she put buttons on it I think she steeked this cardigan and put buttons on and if that wasn't enough she lined the inner band with the keyless little trucks and cars oh my goodness beep beep they're so cute oh it's absolutely absolutely incredible so we are, we were gifted and blessed with this adorable set. Oh my gosh, I can't even get that. And then mm, this scrummy little cable hat. I'll have to look up what this color is or ask her because it is so pretty. It's kind of like a sage green gray. So good. I just keep looking at the cables and like doing this with them like... I love these little like honeycomb cables that have sort of this little stitch on there. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. So we got this gorgeous hat that kind of goes with this one. This is the Gramps Cardigan by Tin Can Knits, all knit in Tristan's yarn. Um, she has this gorgeous kind of like creamy, undyed, 
good sort of tweety flecky incredibleness. <laughs> it has the pattern from the hat going down the sleeves, which turned out beautifully. Tiny little elbow patches, which can you even? This gold, like it's like a gold orange. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. I think you can see it. Again, once again, great drape on here. Really, really nice. Um, tiny pockets in the front. <laughs> the button band. Oh, gosh, it's adorable. And, and, not to be totally outdone. Look at this guy. What? Little ribbon on the silk here. Amazing. I'm so, I'm so lucky to have such, such incredibly talented and sweet knitting friends in my life. Man. So I have been, I have been, um, I mean, our dresser isn't here yet for, for Nugget, but when it's here, I'm going to set aside a whole section in the drawer where I can just kind of roll and store all of these amazing sweaters that I've been knitting and friends have been knitting for him. And then I'll be able to look at them all the time. And I'm just mm, over the moon, so excited. So that's everything that's finished. Um, now we're gonna move on into whips with another sip of coffee. Now that the coffee is off a coffee warmer, it's cooling, so I'm trying to drink a little bit faster. I have cupcake karaoke. Let's see if I can pull this down. This was the last one that um, my niece pulled out of the bin, but like her eyes just kind of lit up like, ooh. So I picked this one out to start with for her. This is a Felici. You get um, 7525 machine wash. And it's about four, two, 218, so it's a 50 gram ball. Um, so most people will order two and they'll use 50 grams and 50 grams and knit two socks for an adult. But for a peanut, 50 grams is plenty. So I will, I will weigh how many stripes those grams added up to in the end on her other cupcake sock, but um, I am, I've got plenty here. And I'm thinking I'll make some um, matching socks for her cousin, my other sister-in-law's niece as well. I think she would really like that. So I have just started the toe last night. I have a little donut charm on here. I know I have some cupcakes, <laughs> but I just didn't know where they were. Oh, I do know where one is though, and it has a sheep on it from Simply Serving and a little candle. And since they're for birthday, that would be awesome. And I think it's purple. It's over on my bag over here. I'm totally gonna get that. So um, other than that, this has been my purse knitting. So I had this um, adorable little Zodiac bag in there and it's holding my, uh, on the other side, socks my tube that I'm knitting right now. So this is from the Princess and the Frog collection. I turned one of them into a large size and um, I'm not done, but I'm over halfway because I think a heel would be somewhere around here. I should really mark which, which one's half again. I think this is half. That looks about right for my my height of sock. So I think that's about half, which means I am one and a half socks in. So that's not bad. Yeah, one and a half socks in. And I have just been throwing this in my purse, um, like I've said before, for like purse knitting, like anything when you don't know how much time you're gonna have because I ran out of time on these on the car ride home. I finished that other yarn. I finished up to where I wanted to put the cuff in and then I didn't have the yarn to do the cuff in the car. I don't wanna pack everything with me, you know? Um, so I didn't even have the yarn with me so I just hung out for the last 
few minutes, talked, whatever. But it's nice to have something like this in the car, doctor's appointments, like longer doctor's appointments, all of it. So it's perfect. Um, other than that, I have been working on the little sweater here. This is Tristan's yarn. It's um, the DK in Dorcas is the color, I believe. I did alternate skeins. Um, you can ever so slightly tell the difference on the front. This was not alternated and this was, but it kind of fades and that's okay, you know. Um, and it's just kind of, I need to do the, the top of the neckline. I think I'm going to do a ribbed neckline, like ribbing. So it comes up and in and then I'll do a sewn tubular bind off. So that is on my to-do list. The armholes are looking great. They're actually quite large. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a um, short row sleeve cap to make this sweater slightly larger. Um, so I'm gonna do a short row sleeve cap. This is on a 24 month hanger um, and it fits really nicely. So I'm thinking that's gonna be its ending date is in between the 24 to 36 month year um so it'll be that year two winter and to spring and then that might be that might be the end of it we're gonna see just how baby grows really you just don't know uh but i'm just so excited it's coming along really really well very pleased so yeah i'm gonna do sleeve caps i'll go down i ended up only doing no, I ripped out and started the ribbing as intended. I did not, the last podcast, I was like, oh, I think I'll knit another inch, inch and a half. No, um, I was looking at it on the hanger proportionally, width wise, I think it's 23 inches. And I was like, no, this will be perfect. This will fit fine. This is what I want to do. So I stopped it and I think it looks really, really cute. You can kind of see where the pants split is. And I think it would be right along that, that line. I'm so excited. So I have this guy. And then, talking about knits on knits, I just put just put it on on top. So this is the hoodie, two to four year size that I am aiming for. Um, I am up to the last inch, inch and a half, two inches on the ribbing. So I started that this morning. Um, I started from the pygmy puff. So knit all that this morning, which isn't much, but did some work on it and I think the next time I show it to you it should be done um, I love the feel of this this is the Brava 500 looks like so it's massive and I really love it uh, it's in the asphalt Heather colorway which is like this charcoal composite gray it's really good um, but the the worsted is just so squishy it's giving this just like squishable texture that you can feel like it's so good. I love it. So the back, back, everything is so cute on this. I'm absolutely in love. It still needs pocket. So maybe the next time you see it, I'll have two sleeves and I'll be trying to talk myself through a pocket. Um, I was gifted the Montrealer. Um, by Akira, not by Akira, um, from Akira. And oh my word, I'm so excited because it was so cute. She made two of them for her boys. They were precious, precious, doing their little um, modeling for her. Uh, so she's the Knitting Annihilator podcast if you wanna go check her out. Um, but yeah, so I just have to put a pocket on here. This all worked out fine. And then I'm gonna throw it through the wash once, of course. Um, just to let those stitches relax a little bit more. Um, there's still some ends. I just noticed like a loose stitch and when I pulled, there's a thread in here that I have to weave in. There's another one under the arm, you know, like regular, regular stuff, but it's coming to power mode. Okay, that's fine. So, ta-da, yes, now I can see that I'm showing you the whole thing. Yeah. And then um, last up, last up, okay. Last up, I am working with Bellish this 
month and I have chosen Brava Sport Week in Celestial Blue and um, some Caron Silver for my Cyber Sweater. So this is how far I've gotten so far. Um, this is on the nine month hanger. It's supposed to be a uh, six to 12 month size. So it's doing the proper drop shoulder when I put it on the nine month hanger, when I put it on the 24 month hanger, it, it definitely sits further out and it doesn't drop like it's supposed to. So it looks much, it, it looks more like it's, like it's meant to now that it's, it's on a smaller hanger. I have a second sleeve to do and a little bit more on the body. If you wanna hear more about this sweater, please go check out my Ballish vlogs. But I just wanted to mention um, th that I've also been putting a lot of work into this and it worked out well. <laughs> so that is everything there. That's all the knitting content. So I'm just going to pick up and place these over here so that I can show you knit crate. So gorgeous. So this is July and it is the A Uru Yarn Electric. 40% alpaca, 30% wools, 30% Surrey alpaca. Um, very exciting. And it's got my niece's names written all over it. Look at this squish. So it's one of those kind of like barber pole yarns. Uru Electric really fun. I am going to actually have to look up the booklet on this one to see what looks good. Um, I'm just intrigued. I think maybe hats would be really cute. Maybe like kitty cat hats. Maybe kitty cat hats would be really cute and maybe matching scarves and I'll just make them for the girls. Uh, there's two balls. That's two sets and birthdays are coming up. Christmas is coming up. Um, they are one year apart yeah they're one year apart so um they will soon be kind of growing together and i think that these would work out really well for them um the color way that i have is 281766 that's a lot number and it's called wired i don't know if that's the brand or the color um but i mean you would you would know whether you get bright pink or teal but there it is. It's very, very, very soft. So I am so sold on being able to knit these as next to skin objects for the girls. Um, and we're just gonna see, I think I only have a 150 yards. So I'm gonna start with hat and then I'll do a little cowl and then we'll see how much that is. And then I'll go in on the second one. I will not break into the second one to finish anything. I want each of the girls to have their own skein. So I am going to do some research. It also came this cute little keychain, um, which is like a rainbow heart. I'm trying to get it out of the bag, but my nails, which I just redid. Look how fun. I don't know if you can see all my sparkles in there, but they're incredible. This is Voyage from Rebel Mail. Uh, there it is. It's this like sweet little sweet little keychain. So cute. I think it's supposed to be that side, but it's really, really cute. So I forgot how fun keychains are to hold. I don't know why that feels good but it does and then also in the mail um i got this gorgeousness from mason's creations yarns and um you can find them at mason's mason creations yarns.com this is gothica on her uh, silver bling sock base which is a 70 20 10 400 yards so that's going to be beautifully squishy and she sent over to you so that I can knit something for myself and baby and I'm so excited 
excited. Making some matching socks for everybody over here um, would be really, really fun. And I think that these would pair really great with like a bright green or a bright yellow, um, just to give it that like acid pop type of feel. Mm. I love it. So please, if you love these yarns and you loved the little purple socks that I just posted about, go check her out. She does this kind of on the side and um, she just does beautiful work. So I would love to, I'd love to share some love over there with her. But they're so pretty. If I can get one out for you. So pretty. So this is the Gothica. So fun. I feel like I have a lot of pink on my plate right now because I have like the electric and the cupcake and the Gothica. It's like all, all in one, and all of these little like bubble, somethings. So I'm gonna clean up here. Um, as far as chatter, most of it's been bellish. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that recently. Uh, I've been working with. Um, the sweater, working on the design, working on the how-to. Um, Bellish is a great knitting app if you want to go check it out. It's working on getting more product as in crochet, um, but it does have knitting at the moment. Um, what else? Uh, we got our 20-week scan, which was super fun. Got to watch baby wiggle around a little bit, which was great. He's doing great, and his heartbeat was strong. He was 164. Something like that, nice and strong. So, good news there. Um, I don't know, we've just been getting kind of weather. It's been very hot and muggy. I'm looking outside right now. It's very hot and muggy, so not my favorite, but hasn't been terrible either. Yeah. And then I've just been enjoying uh, having extra knitting time and not having to scramble through assignments and papers at the moment. So, just enjoying my break and doing the knitting. Uh, my husband put together the crib for baby, so we took down the guest room bed that was in there. Um, we, he, <laughs> and then, um, you know, I kind of handed screws and bits here and there. Uh, but that's up and assembled now and just needs, you know, like finishing touches type of thing. We'll probably dust it, wipe it down, all that. Um, so things are coming along. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. I am hoping that is a shorter episode. I know I love long episodes too with my knitting friends, but uh, hopefully it's a shorter episode and it's a little easier for you to fit into your schedule. So thank you so much for taking some time. I uh, do hope to see you soon. I'm going to gather and uh, hopefully have some finished objects for you next time. Yeah, all right. So reminding you to take it one cup at a time no matter how large that cut may be. And I will see you soon. Bye.